Hello my dear students, how are you all? I am Bhashubri, your teaching buddy and I welcome you all to study class 3 science with me by Science Horizon Acknowledge Series, a unit of Amit Publishing House. So we are going to study unit 7 that is our natural resources, chapter 12, air, water and weather. Correct? So let's move on to study. So let's quickly see what all we have to study in this chapter. What are the gases? And what do they contain? What air contain? Then what are weather and season? What is water cycle? So air, my dear students, we know that air is all around us. How? Because we are breathing. We are respiring all the time. But with the help of what? The air around us. So we cannot see air but we feel it. Air contains many things. It contains several gases which are useful for living things. It also contains smoke, dust and pollutants. Now what are the gases that air contains? Air contains many important gases for plants and animals. Some important gases are oxygen that we inhale. It contains carbon dioxide also and contains water vapor. So air may be useful cheese hai which are required by living things like plants and animals. Now oxygen and carbon dioxide. Animals breathe in oxygen. We all know what is our respiration process. Mein kya hai? Hum inhale karte hai. We intake oxygen from the air. Animals release carbon dioxide into the air when they breathe out. Now plants use carbon dioxide from the air to make food in the presence of sunlight and water. Plants release oxygen into the air and again this oxygen is used by human beings and animals. So here you can see plants may release your oxygen then it is taken by animal for inhalation it gave out carbon dioxide it is then again absorbed by the plant or trees in the presence of sunlight and it prepared its food so this is the entire oxygen and carbon dioxide cycle which keeps on happening in the atmosphere so this is a natural phenomena hai, which, which keeps on going constantly the water vapor. Air contains water in the form of water vapor. When we put ice cubes in a glass tumbler and we leave it for some time, we see water droplets coming out of it. So water vapor is present in the air which comes in contact with the cold surface. So uh, water vapor that contains into water droplets. So water vapor jo hota hai, wo condense ho ke. That is when it comes into a cold temperature, condense ho ke, water droplets bana deta hai and that are seen on the outside of the glass tumbler. Koi bhi thandi cheese when you pour uh, chilled you know chilled any juice cold drink or chilled water in a glass aapne dekha hoga this kind of water droplets are formed outside of the glass body. Why? Because of the condensation. So water condense hoke water droplet bana deta hai and this shows that water contains water vapor. So this process shows the presence of water vapor. Water droplets on a glass. We know that water exists in three forms. Water is this form mein hai? solid water and uh, sorry water um, solid water and water vapor in gas form. Okay. Now in nature we see these forms of water in water cycle. A water cycle kya hota hai? The sun heats up water which is present in water bodies like rivers, seas, oceans, ponds, lakes, okay? Now the heat of the sun slowly changes water into water vapor. So when sunlight in water bodies ke upar padti hai, like sea, ocean, uh, then there's river, lake, anything which has water. So when sunlight falls on it, due to the heat of the sunlight, water changes into water vapor. And this process of changing of water into water vapor is called evaporation. What is evaporation? Changing of water in the presence of sunlight and heat into vapor is called evaporation. Water vapor rises up in the air. So, this heat hua, water vapor aya, wo air mein gaya, goes up. As it reaches higher and higher, it begins to cool down. So, as it goes up, temperature drop hota hai, it begins to cool down. Now, water vapor cools down to form water droplets. So, up and cool down, hone se water droplets. Hai. That is, condensation is happening. 
of this process of changing of water vapor into water droplets on cooling is called condensation correct now you know the difference between evaporation and condensation now many water droplets come together to form clouds a cloud hum upar dekhte hain cloud se rain hota hai now you know how cloud is formed with the help of condensation jab ye sare water droplets ikhatta ho jate hain together they form cloud so that when the cloud becomes full of water droplets but jab bhi cloud bahut sare uh, collect uh, collect hoke bahut zyada full ho jate hain then water droplets fall down as in the form of rain so at very cold places water droplets fall down as snow so snowfall kahan pe hote hain like hilly areas cold areas to yahi water droplets jab uh, bahut zyada freeze hoke cool temperature se uh, when they fall on the earth they form in the fall in the form of snow so now you know this is water cycle first evaporation then condensation then formation of cloud then rain and in colder areas as snow now there is rain water fills of water bodies again fir rain hua fir water bodies like oceans seas rivers lakes they again starts to fill up some rain water seeps into the ground and is known as ground water kuch rain water jo uh, uh, water bodies ke alawa jahan ja rahe hain that is absorbed by the soil so it is termed as ground water the heat of the sun changes water in water bodies into water vapor again so again ye pura ek cycle continue hota hai this continuous process of water becoming water vapor then changing into clouds then rain is called water cycle so condensation once the air cools water condenses and forms clouds pehle ye water cycle hai main aapko define kar do water bodies pe when there is sunlight it evaporates form uh, the evaporates and then on condensation it forms clouds when these clouds are full of water droplets they rain then again these water bodies fill up and some water body, uh, some water rain water goes to the ground and it's called ground water तो ये पूरा फिनोमिना क्या हुआ वॉटर साइकिल करेक्ट ना वॉट आर वेदर एंड सीजन वेदर एंड सीजन डिपेंड ऑन दंडीशन ऑफ द एयर वॉटर सॉरी वॉट इज वेदर वेदर होता क्या है कंडीशन ऑफ द एयर ऑफ अ प्लेस एट अ गिवन टाइम इज नोन एज वेदर अब ऑफन भी आज की वहां का वी वॉन्ट टू ट्रेवल टू मसूरी वहां का वेदर कैसा है वी ऑफन आस्क वॉट इज हाउ द वेदर so weather of a place tells us tells us if the place is hot or cold or wet at a given time the weather of a place changes from day to day so the weather may be cloudy one day and sunny the next day today suppose today is very sunny day tomorrow you don't know it could be cloudy or a rainy day so the weather of a place at a given day can be sunny cloudy windy rainy or cold so it all depends on the air Now some days are hot, sun shines brightly on such day. Such days are called sunny days. <clears throat> some days are cloudy when there are clouds over uh, over in the sky. So those are cloudy days. Some days are windy. Sometimes the wind can be very strong and blow things around. Those are windy days. Some days it rains, so they are called rainy days. And some days it is very cold. बहुत ठंड होती है कभी कभी कहीं किसी जगह पे. So they are called cold days. and now what are seasons ye to ho gayi weather ki baat that depends when there is according to time or according to days there are changes in the uh, air atmospheric air to wo weather ho jata hai now what are seasons during a year when the weather remains the same for a long period of time we call it a season to so, pure saal mein jab kuch kuch mahino ke liye for certain period of time when the weather remains constant the same hum usko season keh dete hain like during summer there is constantly hot air then during winter there always a windy air to so, wo ek season ban jata hai depending on the weather there are different seasons the clothes we wear and the food we eat changes according to the season summer monsoon autumn winter spring there are five main seasons summer winter then autumn and spring these are five main seasons the summer is the hottest time of the year in the season in the season we wear cotton and light clothes we eat ice creams and several cold drinks 
then monsoon is the rainy season. We use umbrellas where rain goes to protect our dresses and protect us from uh, rain. We like to eat and bring warm things during rainy season uh, so that when we, when we become cool and wet. Autumn is the season when trees shed their leaves. Autumn season mein kya hota hai? Uh, trees say leaves apna fall off honi lagti hai. So we find dried leaves falling, flying over here and there due to wind. Then we have uh, winter season. It is the coldest time of the year. And in the season we wear woolen clothes to protect ourselves from cold. Then we eat a uh, lot of hot food and uh, uh, drink soups to keep us warm. Then we have spring season in this season when flowers bloom. So spring is a very healthy, beautiful season. This time flowers, they are in full bloom and our surroundings look beautiful with colorful uh, flowers around us. So ye hota hai spring season. So let's recall some of the points quickly. First of all, air is all around us. We cannot see air, but air is fed. Animals breathe in oxygen from the air. Weather and seasons, they depend on the condition of air. Spring is the season where flowers bloom. It is beautiful season. Monsoon is the rainy season and winter is the coldest time of the year. Now quickly try to answer some question. What is weather? So weather is the change in the flow of air according to the time or during any hour of the day. It is called weather. So it totally depends on the air. Explain the process involved in the water cycle. So as I told you, water cycle basically kya hai? When sunlight, the heat of sunlight, it falls on water bodies containing water like seas, ocean, rivers, lake. So the, due to the heat, when water forms vapor, that process is called evaporation. So when it goes higher, those vapors when they go higher and due to cool down in temperature, it converts, those vapors can convert into water droplets. That process is called condensation. Now, when a lot of water droplets together, they form cloud. So, jab cloud, when they are full of water droplets, they start falling. That becomes rain. So, in colder areas, these rain droplets, they convert into snow. Now, these rain water, when they fill up the water bodies again, so the pura process will say start ho jata hai. So, this is called water cycle. What is, uh, what is the season? I named two uh, five main seasons. So the season is the change in uh, when the weather is constant is uh, throughout the year for a particular period of time. That is uh, season. So five main seasons are summer season, winter season, monsoon, autumn and spring. What is the difference between weather and season? As I explained to you, weather it depends on air, season depends on weather. Draw neat and well di uh, label diagram of a water cycle in your notebook. I have explained you very well your water cycle. There is also a picture showing, explaining every detail about water cycle. Please go through it once again. Usko pura se you have to learn and again try to answer these questions on your own. So it's a very interesting and simple chapter. You have to learn this chapter and it will be easier for you. So till then stay excited for the class of another video and stay happy and healthy. Thank you so much.